Hey, welcome to Keybind Compute. Today we're going to be looking at something that, uh, at least I find interesting, something you don't see every day. That would be the Nokia 6010 cell phone from back in roughly 2004. And I found this recently in the box. It's complete. Sorry, you can see my studio lights there. You know, just normal old mid-2000s cell phone box art. It's just a couple enjoying things, that guy, and well, another couple enjoying things. Not a cell phone in sight, strangely enough, despite this being a cell phone box with advertisements on it. You can see all the old graphics there. So I guess we'll attempt to open it up. It's got a plastic sleeve that will tray that comes right on out. We'll just set that up in the background so we can kind of see it. First thing we find, I don't know if this was actually originally the very first thing in it, but either way, a AOL Instant Messenger thing. I am unaware if this phone could do text messages or whatnot, but it could at least probably do AOL Messenger. And then stuff about MSN mobile, messenger policy, and privacy. Fascinating. MSN. <laughs> I haven't heard that in a long time. MSN Terms of Service. Probably can't read this on this camera. And then the User Guide Update. Yeah, everything seems to be two-sided so far. Probably something that definitely wasn't in there originally. CPC Wireless uh, thing from Singular. It's funny, it says wired on the back, wireless on the front. What is this thing? All right, now that we're through that, okay, take two on that. All right, now that we're through that, let's uh, actually look at the uh, phone itself. This one is a mildly used model. It has the battery still. Let's get a really good view of that. Yeah, it's, you can tell it's been used because of the volume down button. I don't know if that's the volume down or not. The down button <laughs> is quite worn, as well as the power button. Other than that, it looks in pretty good shape. Let's see if the battery will come off. Yeah, it's very simple. It's got four contacts. Presumably two negative, two positive, according to the battery at least. Negative and positive. And, uh, yeah. I want to say this ran the Series 40 Nokia operating system. I'm no phone expert. Um, this is probably this is probably what the SIM card came in originally. Although, did I see a SIM card back here? No, I did not. So, it probably didn't have one. I have no idea what that little bag was for. And the most interesting thing about this package is the fact it comes with the original charger. It has been used, but it's still in the bag. Um, actually, I don't know if it has been used or not, because it still has the original band around it. And unless someone used it with that thick rubber band around it there, let me see if we can see that really nicely. Unless someone used it with that band around it, I don't know. But anyways, I say let's see if this thing will power up. I know we're not going to get any uh, usefulness out of it, being it's at most a 2G phone. I don't even think it's that. So, let's see what happens. Alright, the power supply is live now. Um, I probably ought to test the voltage on this first, but I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think it's very important. Well, plugging it in. I have not plugged this in yet, so. So far, no signs of life. This might be a very uneventful video. I'm trying to turn it on. Yeah. Um. <laughs> this uh, is pretty uneventful. Let's take off the battery, because the battery may very well be shorted. Trying to get a good angle so we can kind of see the screen. That is the power button, right? Yeah, that's the power button, alright. Well, that's disappointing. I might come back with a later video at some point trying to actually get this thing to turn on otherwise. 
by using a separate battery or power supply of some sort on the terminals. It shouldn't be too hard because, I mean, it is just negative and positive. It isn't like a lot of newer cell phones. I say newer, being like from 2008 maybe, that use uh, several different pins for communicating to the battery and such. But that's just a little short video on the Nokia 6010, a relative of one of the... Um, what is this button? A relative of one of the uh, best-selling phones of all time. And another w little feature I just discovered, actually. If you push this button down right here, these things were highly customizable. I mean, you couldn't do much like putting a background on it or anything like a smartphone today. Because, I mean, it was a one-bit screen. Um, but you had other ways of customizing it, such as swappable faceplates. <laughs> So if I wanted to actually restore this phone and get these buttons replaced, I could just get a whole brand new faceplate for this thing. Look at that. Screen is in very close to pristine shape. It needs a little cleanup here and there. But I can't complain. Get a little bit of hair out of it. I wonder how many decades that's been in there. And it just snaps back in place like that. Yeah. Oh, don't fall. And that concludes this video.